like? Arts, <laughs> arts and crafts, that's what it looks like. Us put a box together and you're going to see us use some really basic materials. Uh, first thing we're going to use ready foam, 99 cent dollar store, bucket sheet. You can burn it, use it, throw it away, works great, easy to cut. You're going to need a few supplies to do that. Straight edge, making straight lines, razor blades for cutting the foam, single end razor blades, you prefer that. Utility knives work. Bolt utility knives, squares are handy to make 93 corners, uh, small ones, large ones. Uh, if you ever break your measuring tape, I'll take them, I'll cut them into little pin inch or 12 inch strips. So I have one at 12 inch rulers. Really handy for making little measurements, you can bend around corners if you need to. Handy little tool. Masking tape works really well. You got little triangles from your drafting class, always fun. You have 30, 60, 93 triangles, work really well for making different measurements. And silly putty is a good thing to have. I'll show you that later. No, seriously, what are you doing? It is battery box mock-up. So build the box, just lightweight, smooth, easy, easy to move, easy to test, put it in the car, put the body on, and the body will crush the box and doesn't fit right. And then I gotta go back and recat everything. So this, this is, is fab. This is fab. This is foamated design. Which is different than CAD, which is cardboard aided design. Touch it. That's why I'm leaving. <laughs> so you got the model over here on the ground? And yeah, she's dead. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <Hit> the body! <laughs> so the idea with this is that by making it a phone, like you said, you mount the body on the car, and if it crushes, you'll be able to see where it's hitting. Yep. I mean, it kind of looks like you're building a diorama. This is not a Does this look like a Spanish mission to you? If it does, your kids got a pass, did not get a passing grade. <laughs> so how many batteries is this box going to fit? 28. 28. 25 and five rows of stacks and three on the top with long electronics, contactor, maybe a DC-DC, disconnect. Um, Any coolant? No. These batteries are air-cooled. Uh, well, okay. There is the potential for coolant system. They're working with, with DEI, uh, and they are working out some math because we're doing things that they've never done. Their system is designed to cool an intercooler, and we're spraying CO2 on batteries directly to try to decrease the temperature of the battery at the current collector at the end of the battery. So they don't burst into flames, burn the car down, and kill the driver. Uh, if condensation is created, will that cause the same effect? No. Unless it fills up the box, then yeah, it will. I don't think we're going to get that much condensation on a dry, salty lake bed. Uh, so we built the black box in 2021 to fit in the Land speed car, we're taking the bottom belt. And we also have a foam board, so we've got, oh, I don't know, one, two, three, maybe $5 in foam. And we can put it in the body as you saw. We saw that it cleared the body, we can force any problems. And I don't have to learn CAD to do that. I can run a pair of scissors or a knife and a straight edge and make the whole project quick and easy. Uh, I did forget, you're gonna need a hot glue that holds all together. That really helps. So, how could somebody use this for one of their EV builds? Uh, open the hood, open the trunk, look behind the seat, figure out where you want to put a box. Can we look under? Can, can we look under here? This is not a foam box. Correct. 
but this is the product after the phone box because the phone box proved the phone box would fit. And then we copied the phone box in aluminum, welded it together, put it in the batteries, and put it in the car. Got it. So just like we used this foam to fit into Landspeed car, which already has a built body that we need to fit the batteries in with the constraints of that body, anybody building an electric car is going to need to fit their battery box within the constraints of the body of yeah. the car. That's the hard part, getting the batteries in the car. So build out a foam, cost you five, 10 bucks and some time. Build out aluminum, it costs you three or 400 bucks. <laughs> Correct. A lot more time. Look. Ah. I'm a fast little guy. I put it to the floor. I don't leave nothing there. It's on, it's on, it's on, it's on, it's going, it's going, it's going, it's back to speed all the time. No more sugar for you. <laughs> no more sugar, that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> this is the basic battery configuration in its current prototype state. What you doing? Electric Legos. Wrong way. Wrong way. Man, you got extra room in there. Just slap her around like a knife in a mayonnaise jar. Throw the hot dog in the hallway. All right. Damn. <laughs> Damn. 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 Sorry, we didn't catch that on film. What are you doing? We're picking a body and we're putting it on a car. You're moving a body? We're moving a body. This one's young. This is not even alive. That's a really good question. If you're only got somebody restrained and tied up, are you still moving a body? Or do they have to be dead in order to call it moving a body? It can be warm or cold. That's the question. Put it on. Yep. There you go. No. Okay. You got it? You got some of it. crushed or touched or altered or messed up. Uh, that basically proved us that we have clearance in the body. I told you the Silly Putty is a good thing to have as well because the Silly Putty, if you have a situation where you think something is going to be very close, you can take the Silly Putty, you can put the Silly Putty on where you think something is going to run into it, reinstall the body, the body will then push the Silly Putty down and you will know how much clearance you have by how thick the silly putty is. Kind of using plastic gauge for building engines. This is silly putty for silly putty for body fitment. So yeah, again, dollar store. Nice. Turn off the camera. <laughs>